we were too deep. There was no way that we could, you know, take it to daylight, the pipe. So we took it to a dry well. Now, when the dry well fills up, there's a bunch of holes drilled in the dry well. So the water just runs into these stones. When the water gets so high in the dry well, it just percolates in the stones. Then it can make it in the ditch. This is a great overflow. This works really well. So we have two four inch grates. Look at this. This is six feet deep. And it's full of water. It's right up on its overflow. Now, I think all the holes that are drilled in the dry well, you know, the walls of the dry well, all the water is going to run into these stones, percolate up. This was just a precautionary measure that we vented it. You don't have to do this. The one hazard of venting it is you can have a mosquito hatchery. You're going to kill all the mosquito larvae if you pour copper sulfate down in it. But if you don't want maintenance, then don't vent it. I was just worried because the collection system is so big. We're grabbing up so much water over a couple of acres of land. I just wanted to make sure that if it was really coming down, that the system kept up with it. So this was just, just a way of venting the dry well and the water can just pour over into the ditch. So there's the results. How'd it work on a two inch rain? Man, it worked really, really well. The only thing that's wet is just the bottom of that swell. And then this goes to a detention area in our yard. Really did its job. The property is as dry as can be. All right, everybody, if you like these posts that I'm doing, these follow-ups, give me a thumbs up. It really supports the channel and it keeps me motivated. I appreciate everybody who participates. I love everyone that comments and contributes in a positive way. We are a community here on YouTube. And as a bunch of drain guys, we are just trying to help one another out.